Shirish, a 43-year-old architect, was traveling to his workplace. A tired truck driver, who had been driving since the last 24 hours without a proper break. After being admitted to the hospital he was on the edge of life and death. He was fighting for his life but the doctors had informed the patient's relatives that his survival rates are very low. Dad, how are you? Are you in any pain? Do you want anything? No child, I'm fine. Don't worry about anything. I have already sorted things for you and mom. As my dying wish, I hope to donate my organs for those in need. Why would you want to do that, Dad? I have heard that. Once you donate your organs in this life, you are born without those organs in your next life. No, sweetheart. There is nothing like that, it's myth. Even in Bhagavad Gita, it is said that just as a man sheds off worn out clothes and puts on new ones. It is only the person's soul that leaves the body and enters into a new one. So, even if we donate our organs it does not mean we will be born without them in our next life. Hello one and all present today. So today we will be talking about the importance of organ donation. Every day millions of people suffer from various diseases which can lead to organ failure leading to loss of life. Because people do not opt to donate their organs due to lack of awareness regarding organ donation. In order to save a life, we should consider donating organs in order to help those in need. The required age for organ donation is 18 years or above. And the person should be of sound mind. But the question is how can one register themselves for organ donation? So, a person can pledge for organ donation by filling up an organ donation form in the presence of two witnesses. And out of the two witnesses one of them should be a close relative. If a person dies without registration, the family members can donate his or her organs by signing a consent form which is provided at that time. There are two types of donations, cadaver donor and living donor. Cadaveric donation means taking organs from a brain dead person or heart dead person who is on a ventilator. The organs that can be donated are heart, lungs, kidneys, liver, pancreas, intestines, and eyes. Donations an organ is retrieved from a healthy living person and transplanted into the body of someone who is suffering from organ failure. This is commonly done in case of liver or kidney failure. Because of your one right decision you can help many lives even after leaving this world. It is such a great deed, what more can anyone ask for? If you'll have any questions, you can ask. Which organs can be donated? In case of a living donation, liver and kidney can be donated. Whereas in case of cadaver donations, heart, lungs, liver, pancreas and kidneys can be donated. What harm or complications will the living donors have to undergo after the donation? There is no harm seen to the donors. People can survive on one kidney. For liver donation, the liver grows back to its original size. In case there is a risk to the donor, the doctor will not approve of the donor for donation. What should I do in order to donate my organs? As I previously mentioned, you will need to register yourself for the organ donation card. There also needs to be the presence of two witnesses and out of the two witnesses, one of them should be a close relative. You should also maintain your health to ensure that your organ remains healthy and can be donated. Also, inform your family about it so that they are aware about your wish. Can I change my mind later? Yes, absolutely. Just tear up the card. Will my decision cost anything to the donor's family? No. 
The cost required for maintaining the donor will be borne by the recipient's family or by the hospital from the time the consent for organ donation is given. Will my family be paid or have to pay for organ donation? No, there are no charges involved. Okay dad I get your point. We will make sure to fulfill your wish. My father passed away today. He helped save a number of people's lives. I am so so proud of him.